Hello everybody, today we're going to be having a play of a map entitled Arborus or Arbor- Oh, Arbo oh. It's you. oh, it's you. It's been a long time. It has. How have you been? It has been a while since you completely ruined one of my intros, GLaDOS, and completely made me forget what I just spent five minutes practicing how to pronounce. Alright, hello everybody, today's map is entitled Arubaros. Arubaros. Arubos. Arubos. Anyway, however it's pronounced, it was made by Lord Cardock. So a very big thank you to Lord Cardock for what appears to be a suspiciously simple looking test chamber. Yep, okay, sure, sure. I'm guessing it's not though because we have an ominously flashing broken glass observation room ahead, but that's fine. There it is. Yeah. I figured something like that was going to happen, especially since the game was doing that whole thing where the lighting's slightly different on things that move. Unfortunately, that often gives away the game ever so slightly. Uh, that is is just out of reach now, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I know what you want me to do, though. Let's go ahead and grab the other... Really? Are you going to pop back up? Yeah, okay, GLaDOS. You cube tease bitch, you. I know what you want me to do, though. We go grab the other cube. Yeah, you keep teasing. We go grab the other cube, and we do the whole cube stepping stone mechanic thing, which is... Uh, Weirdly common these days for some reason. Well done. Thank you. To celebrate, I have a surprise for you. Oh goody, I'm goody. I'm sure your surprise will be lovely and humane and very enjoyable. She only ever does nice surprises, right? In case you in case you hadn't guessed, something's about to happen, right? This is a weird Friday map. At some point things are gonna get a little bit there it is. Glados you bitch. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Well, it is a Friday map, GLaDOS. I do have to play along to a certain extent, um, so... Ooh, bird! Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I've always wanted to try this. Hi, bird. Hi, no, don't go, don't go! I have questions for you. Like, like, where is it you go and why do you always leave me? I just want a friend down here. Uh, yeah, so anyway, weird Friday map and quite clearly, this is where the weird stuff begins. Uh, we have been dumped rather unceremoniously by GLaDOS herself into one of Aperture's more questionable test subject waiting areas with a ominously red-lit single door. It's always a single door in a strange little space, isn't it? Okay, fine. What's through here then? Through here? Uh, we appear to have entered ancient Mesopotamia. As you do, or... A far better reference for when you're suddenly confronted with a spiral staircase full of mist and creeping vines. Yep, it's it's one of those maps. Okay, so up or down? Up or down? I've got a feeling it's not going to matter, is it? This is going to be one of those weird world portal shenanigan type spaces. Uh, is that where we were before? Can I pick you up? No, is that the same leak as we saw? That's the same leak, isn't it? So what do we reckon? Do we reckon it's the video game lore of freeze? And the thing happens? Definitely can't pick up the lantern. Ah, uh, there's no going back either, is there? That's what, two loops? Give it a third loop for the lore of free and the thing will happen and things will all change again. The floor will be ripped away from underneath us. Can't help but notice the thing hasn't happened. Still... Nothing appears to be happening. This is an endless staircase, meaning world portal shenanigans if we turn around and go the way that we didn't go in the first place, right? That's the other way this rule works. The law freeze down. Nothing's going to change, is it? This this, this is literally a never-ending spiral staircase. Yep. Okay, so we can't get back out of here. Uh, we can't do anything with the one lantern. No, okay, so... Uh... How do we deal with the never-ending spiral staircase? I have played maps where you literally have to just keep going for absolutely ages and then something happens. Kinda hoping it's not one of those. I'd really like the thing to happen now, there's something to change. You're not changing anything? I saw an arrow. There's an arrow, a down arrow. Really, you want me to jump? Seriously, you want me to jump down here? Oh, I like the way the ivy interacted with me there. Or didn't, and I'm just seeing things. Okay, never mind. 
Uh, fine, we'll drop down here into the surprise, or is this whole thing the surprise? There's the cube. Who chucked that? And what just went in water? The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Okay. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old times. Oh yeah, because everything about this screams just like old times, GLaDOS. This is all so familiar to me. Um, You did chuck the cube down into what appears to be Aperture's um, large, dark, underground, foreboding forest of darkness with a creepy-ass mausoleum at the end. Wait, what's that? Museum Modern Marvel. I'm sure there should be a of in there somewhere, but we found the Museum of Modern Marvels. Oh, hold on. You made a point of chucking this down here, didn't you? This is a buddy movie type map where we've got to take our companion with us the whole way. Okay, let's uh, start searching the forest for our portal gun. I'm guessing it's over there by the blinking light. Blinking light. Oh, hold on. How deep is that? Is that deadly, deadly goo? You test me. No, that's why you always need to bring a buddy companion cube. Blinking lights usually mean come look over here where... There's absolutely nothing. Me coming here was pointless. Do I really have to search all of this space for the portal gun? You know what? I'd put it in the museum. Is that it there? Nope, that's a weird reflection. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'd put the quantum tunneling device in the Museum of Modern Marvels. It's a pretty modern marvel, right? Although apparently we've had it since like the 1940s. 40s? That's about roughly when the game goes back to. And the Museum of Modern Marvels isn't looking quite so modern or marvellous. In fact, it appears to still be under construction. And we found where the birds go. Apparently the birds all congregate here and circle. Which means there's a corpse in there, right? That's why birds tend to circle. Is there a body in there? That's never a good sign, right? I I've never seen... Hey, the two of them just sat there as well. Ah. Um, that's never a good sign, right? That that pretty much always means death or showdown at the OK Corral. Flashing lights for portal gun? No. Just flashing lights for dramatic effect as the creepy sound effects and ambiance begins to build. Uh, that is the one way to go and there's another arrow. Doing a lot of maps where I just follow idiot indicator arrows lately, which is good for me. It, it does, does tend to help. So, cube into here. Cube into here because that needs to be a stepping stone again. I mean, that's why you did that whole thing at the start, right? That was to teach us about the companion cube, our friendly stepping stone buddy. We can take him on a nice little buddy adventure through the rest of the map. Um, We are getting closer to the circling birds of death, though, aren't we? In there? Can I go under that? No, I want to see the corpse. Just, just because, it's, you know, I haven't seen a corpse in this game for quite a while, actually. I think the last one was in Rexura. You probably want me to go through there where it does look slightly more museum-y. Oh yeah, it definitely looks more museum-y in here. A nice glass ceiling and the one decorative highlighted tree. So this is Aperture's Museum of Modern Marvels, which does appear to contain some sort of testing elements. We've got a little alcovey thing with a button. The button that does, oh, the button that does something quite elaborate in the middle there. Also flicks around something up in that little uh, cut-out alcove all the way up there. One nicely decorated tree, so what is all this and why does it move so elaborately? I mean, let's go stick the cube on there, right? And then we can actually see it elaborately move in all of its glory. I'm guessing it's a modern marvel or just some sort of art piece. Okay, well that flips around. I'm sure it's got a reason it needs to flip around. Uh, there's a button over here. Button over here will give us a cube from somewhere. Uh, that rather unceremoniously dumps another companion cube out of the wall. Do, do, do you want me to move that for you? Shall I get that out of your way? There you go, you can relax now, panel. Okay, uh, so we got two companion... My first companion has abandoned me. Wait, are you the same companion cube? Why did I bring you all the way here? Is that just in case someone forgot to carry it all the way from the foreboding forest? Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, look, there's the moon. If I had a portal gun, I'd test it. Uh, we don't have a portal gun, though. We just have you and the one single button 
that flips around that whole thing up there. So, typically, that's where you need to go. What can I do with this giant flip around thing? It also lowers, like, these archy stepping stone. It lowers the archy things in the middle. Uh, not the comics, they, they were boring. But uh, the arch things there, which appear to be blocking us. Wait, how am I going to get past them? Is that too high? Can I get up on there? Can I, I can just budge my way over. Cool. Uh, that does not seem right somehow. Uh, that is where we typically get a portal gun though, right? Yes, cool. We have acquired our quantum tunneling Lord, device. You have a dual portal device. I do. There I found it. Uh-huh. Uh, there's an idiot indicator arrow up there. That looks like the other side of that cutout alcove thing we were looking at before. And this big flip around mechanical thing in the middle here has a portable panel on the underneath of it. Which flips around? Why would I want to... Can I even go up there? I can't go up there. Is there another panel in here? Somewhere? There's glass so I can't actually test that moon which is looking rather 2D from this perspective now. Can I get up here somewhere? There's a panel up there that is behind rather decorative Art Deco style glass even if I try to cheese things. Yeah, no, we can't get anywhere in there. Back then, don't tell me I have to try and work my way all the way back up that spiral staircase and the giant drop tube to wherever the hell we are now. We could go back though, right? So what does this whole flip aroundy thing do? And didn't you have a panel up there? That is panelable, and that is panelable. So getting us into... No, because you flip round, right? Yeah, you flip round. Uh, cube, you come hold this down, although you're also on a panelable floor. Right, so you go sit on here. Hold that down there. That is not the side that I want. And I can't get to that one panel because that's now facing upwards. So wait, we need you... Ah, okay, we need you to land over here on this button once I've already gotten past. You sit there for me then. Uh, let me use you as a stepping stone again. I got a feeling we're going to need to take this cube the whole way with us now. Uh, let's do... Wait, that will lower this down, right, when we press the button. So if we do blue there, you drop through, that gets that out of the way. This thing is now flipped around and we can actually make use of it. Uh, we can't get to the one on the spin around weird contraption in the middle anymore. But we can go up to the higher level for some reason. Up to here, there we can see that panel. Is that for a long dropping kind of thing to launch... Through the glass or just just get on there by the looks of it. Okay, so wait, that could have been bad. Uh just get onto hold on, we can get through here, please. Thank you. Thank you. Uh so that lets us just get onto this big spinny catwalky thing. Where there is another this way idiot indicator arrow pointing. Ah, that's the long droppy thing. So out of there. Out of there. That gets us to whatever that panel over there is actually for. So drop through you. Launches me up to this higher level, straight into the Art Deco artwork. Where there is a panel on the ceiling. And a panel on the floor. That looks like a really big uh, infinite loop kind of drop launching kind of position, right? To launch us somewhere else. What's through this side? Through this side is very, very little. I'm not impressed with this museum. It has very, very few modern marvels. I mean, the gear work, impressive, but there's only one of it. That tree was quite nice, though. So you want me to get up there, as indicated by the This Way Idiot Indicator Arrow, which will take us to a cave. A cave of darkness. Maybe that's where they keep the modern marvels down, down in the depths. Okay, sure. Um, So get up there, right? Get up there. I could probably do that without having to do a giant infinite loop. Isn't this going to be... This should be high enough, right? Just off of this one bit here. And then it's over here somewhere. Thank you. And we can make our way round to the cave. Yeah, this museum. I'm guessing it's still under construction, right? There's very, very few... Almost went off the edge. Very few, very, very few actual modern marvels in here. What is that? Does that mean I want the cube? 
I mean, we've needed the cube thus far. We probably need the cube thus further, right? What is actually down here, though? We can probably come back. It's getting creepier. Kind of wishing I still had my companion cube, buddy. I, for some reason, envisioned a barnacle just then. Never mind. Uh, this takes us down into a interesting cave type air bird. Where did he go? He went into the bloody floor. And now I can hear a whole bunch of them. He's probably gone to join the circle. Um, he did move indicating we should look at this though, right? Is that, is that actually what I think it is? Is this more physics puzzle? We actually found another map with a physics puzzle. Why are you on a rope? Crate on a rope. Like soap on a rope, but a lot more inconvenient. Ah, uh, because it is actually a physics puzzle, isn't it? Okay, let's grab you. Uh, how long is your rope? Your rope is not nearly long enough. Can I get you up there? You sit up there and wait for me? Yeah, cool. This is an actual physics puzzle. Also just noticed another panel there with a put a portal here arrow, uh, X upon it. So you, you get to come sit on the seesaw and we found another map with an actual physical physics puzzle in it. Cool, I do want to see more of these in portal maps. That sits like that so that we can... Really? Really? Are you again telling me that shell is that heavy? I mean, I suppose we could cut her some slack and pretend that the crate is, you know, empty. But why would you have an empty crate on the rope? Why would anyone nick an empty crate? So why would you need to, you know, tether it somewhere? No. Nope. I'm going with the fact that shell is heavier than a crate that contains pure concrete and lead. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, what does that mean then? That means we need pile more stuff up on this end until we match shell's immense curve so we can get to the ominously red highlighted door, which says keep out because we tend to always actually go in doors that say keep out in this game. Do you move? No. Cinder block, collect some cinder blocks. Where's the thing? Where's the heavy thing? There's going to be another heavy thing in here. The cube. The companion cube, right? Companion cubes as heavy as weighted storage cubes. I mean, neither are as heavy as shell. We probably should have brought the cube down here. There is nothing else to use to keep that down, is there? The barrel? No. No, okay. So, yeah, we need to go back and get that cube. Uh, what portals did I conveniently leave anywhere. One of those should be down in a pit, shouldn't it? I think it was the orange one that I left down in that pit. And uh, we can go get our cube back. So, portal upon you. Yep, this is down in the pit. The pit did have some convenient spiral stairs. These ones, however, do end, which is good, because that means we can go grab the cube. Uh, the cube should still be waiting for us out here, right? And then we can find out if Shell weighs more than a crate full of lead and concrete. And a companion cube. What did I leave where? Blue's down in that pit type thing. Let's put orange on you. Grab you and get into here. And go stack you up on top of the very, very heavy crate. So you sit on there. Right. Is Shell heavier than those two things combined? Oh my god, she weighs a ton. Really? Right, do I need to like get you just a little bit more... A little bit more over... That way, like right there, right on the very edge so that we can maximize the fulcrum. Uh, no. Shell weighs an absolute ton. Do I need another cube? We've only got one cube. This is for me to get back up, right? Yeah, that's why that goes down into the dirt. Uh, we only have one cube. You're not even on the bloody seesaw. You sit there. That's why it tilted down. No, shell is just, shell just weighs an absolute ton, apparently. Do I have to do a better running jump than that? Let's get the tilt down. Hitting shift, because I still think that that makes me sprint for some reason. No, do you move? Wait, is that jam the cube there? That's what that's for, right? Yeah, we had to tilt it and we can jam a cube underneath instead. Because Shell really does weigh that much. Everyone thinks I'm always just being mean to her, but you know, that's not the case. She is very, very heavy. I mean, GLaDOS was not lying. I know it sounds like she's just being a petty bitch, but GLaDOS was telling the truth all along. So that should keep that in place and stop the fulcrum from going all the way down. Now we can get up here. Cool. Uh, can I get that cube back somehow now? 
We leave a portal there, can we? No, okay, this may be the end of the line for our buddy movie adventure. Let's head on through you... ...into the offices. Because Aperture's architecture makes perfect sense. Alright, fine. Uh, 421. Wait, have we just entered a Stanley Parable reference? We have, haven't we? 419, what was it? 427? 430? I swear I did a video on this a long, long time ago. Where's the door that's gonna do the thing? 599, okay, maybe not. Maybe these are just a lot of doors. Oddly specific though, right? What's with the numbers? There's something I'm supposed to be aware of. No, okay, well let's just start exploring the officer's spaces then. This is not the order numbers technically should go in, but fine. We'll play along. 997? There's a crow in that one. This is also where the crows go, they go to work. What's making that noise? Why does it sound like something in Gmod's about to shoot across the map? It's in here. Oh, it's a crow! It's a crow actually working on the computer. Typing away furiously. Uh, fun fact, that's that's how half my jokes are written. Okay, cool. Um, I like that we're getting to experience the actual world of the portal birds a little bit more than usual. Kinda really want to know what he's typing, though. So wait, do all these offices have birds in them? I am going to check every office for a bit. There's another one in there. What's he up to? He's just admiring the portrait of, uh, what's her name? Caroline and Cave in there. What is he doing? He appears to be working away as well. Perhaps reviewing all his emails. So do all of these have birds in? I do have to check now. Yep, that one's got a bird. He's just sat on the monitor. Uh, is this a weird little maze of office spaces with a broken photocopier? Sure. Yep, there does appear to be nothing but a single room we can enter. Okay, um, I've got a horrible feeling I know where we're about to end up. Yep, we're right back at the start. There's a never-ending loop theme to this map, isn't it? There's, uh, the test chamber where all this nonsense once began. Okay, so... We do actually need the cube, right? You want me to go and actually complete the puzzle. Uh, where did I even leave that cube now? That cube is all the way back in that weird little seesaw pit area. Uh, which is somewhere. Somewhere, there's the door. For a moment there, I thought it was going to take us forever to find it again. Bird shadow. Got a feeling there's more birds that I've missed. Let's go grab our cube from under there. What did I leave in that office? I left Ori... No, wait. What did I leave in the office? That would be very helpful to know before I go getting the cube and getting stuck. I left blue in there. Okay, let's go put orange on that one convenient panel all the way back there. Uh, then we can grab our cube and actually solve the puzzle. Although, I'm sure GLaDOS has, you know, something to say about that. It is that kind of map after all. Take you with me around here. Orange on you. Gets us into the little office space that was ominously flashing for a reason. Stick a portal down there and there. You come with me and we can actually, actually solve the very, very, very simple puzzle of two cubes, two buttons, one door. I feel awful about that surprise. Do you? Tell you what. Let's give your parents a call right now. Oh, I like this one. To those parents who are trying to reach, do not love you. Please <laughs> hang up. So cruel. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Ah, uh, GLaDOS. You wonderfully petty, petty little bitch. Um, that appears to be an actual exit elevator. Very strange for a weird Friday map to end with an actual exit elevator. Is it, is it, is it gonna kill me? Is it about to drop? Oh wow, we are actually ending normally. 
That was Ouroboros, 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 however the hell you pronounce it, you can see it there on the screen, created by Lord Cardock. So a very big thank you to Lord Cardock for a surprisingly elaborate side quest adventure with our companion cube buddy. And plenty of birds, for some reason. Thank you very much for watching, catch you later.